家再有幾名警察係進入得警察嘅範圍內。Hello, guys. Um, sorry. I, let me just explain what happened. I first of all, I feel very sad. Uh, Jimmy is a great person, and he absolutely does not deserve what just happened to him. He's now in the hospital. From what I've heard, he's now conscious. Um, basically, he was attacked. This is the second time he's targeted and attacked. The first time, he was protected by one of his friends and did not uh, get injured like now. Now, uh, I'm showing you um, images of um, from Apple Daily here, and um, basically. Uh, Jimmy is from the human rights civil front, uh, the, the 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 civil human rights front. Sorry, he was attacked by four to five uh, attackers. He they they were described as south as southeast uh, southeast Asian looking. Uh, they were covering the face, most of their faces, and. Um, they they had uh, rods and uh, iron hammer, and one of them threatened him with a knife. Jimmy is uh, was going to apply also for a district council um, election in Lekyun, and uh, as I said, this is the second time he got uh, targeted. It's the second time he gets targeted, and. Um, they got him really bad this time. You can still see here in Mongkok the blood on the ground. This is the place he was attacked.
講自己係邊個啊？誒、呃，身世點咁樣嘅，係啦。咁咧就醫院得翻嚟嘅消息咧，初步話佢咧都係暫時都係清醒啦，係啦。咁而現場嘅差人頭先較早前咧，亦都有嚟調查過啦，亦都有探完啦，防暴警咧亦都喺附近調查過，但係咧大概一個鐘。多啲咧，佢就哋已經個調查工作就已經完成咗噶啦咁而又亦都見到咧，現場環境咧，有啲鋪頭咧外邊咧係有啲閉路電視安裝咗嘅，但係可能當時嘅鋪頭係閂得門啦，未冇辦法可以誒暫時攞到啲閉路電視片段啦，咁可能會稍稍後時間咧先會聯絡。Guys, I I need to add one more thing. This is not just a random incident. Um. Here, look. Uh, from the Hong Kong Free Press, two young candidates running for Hong Kong District Council assaulted while campaigning on the streets. Two candidates, uh, Jocelyn Chow, twenty-three, was attacked on Saturday evening at her booth in the city garden. Um. Here is her picture. She was assaulted as well. And uh, Janelle Janelle Leung also was attacked. Guys, you can go read it. I will share this link with you guys on the live stream chat. But basically, they're attacking district council candidates. Now, Jimmy. Who is also a uh, going to? He was a candidate for for the district council elections. Has been assaulted. He was attacked to the head with an iron hammer. He was threatened with a knife. He was beaten up. Now he's、uh, in the hospital. From what I've heard, he's now conscious. And we, I think something's going on. <laughs> 哦 ，OK OK。啊系啊，系啊，叫咩啊？出现状稳定，稳定。身體住喺邊？頭，身體住喺邊？頭。身體。你係寫咩㗎？你話佢個頭。頭咯。係啊。即係有有有錘仔波啊嗰啲咯，係。頭部受傷。頭部受傷。當當當聽到。好，好得，冇問題，冇問題。係啊，冇錯，冇錯。現場消息，現場消息。唔係啦，我我呢度，我邊㗎？誒，頭部受傷，送誒穩定，情況穩定，留院觀察。係留院觀察。誒唔係誒誒，照 X 光，照 X 光，係。嗱咁咧就誒、呃，我哋交代埋個病況先啦。面場消息就係話陳子傑就頭部受傷啦，咁現時嘅情況係穩定嘅，咁誒、呃、不過就會留院觀察啦。咁啊，現場都好多人。Now they're talking about、uh, the the current condition of Jimmy, uh Jimmy Sam, uh he is stable. Uh, but he has to stay in, remain in the hospital for some time. I want to thank the medical, the medical personnel who has assisted him and all the other people. They're going to keep doing live stream to see how the police, what that, what the police do as a follow up right now. The police is here as well as you see. We even saw earlier we saw some riot police around.
我們請問林振宇人士就陸續離開了 They're going to give a few quick uh, statements. They're getting ready for a quick, like, uh, quick statement. These are also uh, friends of Jimmy and uh, also part of the Democratic parties. He's conscious, but he has to stay in the hospital. He's saying that they're not 100% sure of right now the condition of Jimmy, just that he's conscious and that he has to stay in the hospital. Uh, asking about the police, did the police make the report already? The police haven't made the report yet. Oh, there was someone who was threatening other people to not help Jimmy who was laying on the ground. He was uh, threatening other people.
There was a lot of people around Jimmy trying to help, but there was one guy holding a knife threatening people who were trying to help Jimmy. Bye-bye. Now they're explaining again uh, the whole issue that uh, Jimmy was attacked by four to five aggressors uh, who were covering their faces. Uh, he's now stable in the in the Guanghua Hospital. Uh, they're waiting for the X-ray and other and other exams to see the detailed condition of Jimmy right now. So, guys, the uh, Apple Daily reporter just said that they will stay. Uh, paying attention to any news and they will let us know if there is anything new happening now um, who is Jimmy uh, Jimmy Sam uh, he's a Hong Kong uh, political and LGBT rights activist uh, he serves as con convener convener of pro-democracy organization civil human rights front 
and uh, as a secretary for LGBT rights organization. Now I'm reading this from uh, from Wikipedia. Uh, that's Jimmy's face. So, yeah, you can read more about him. His name is uh, Jimmy Sham. Oh, with an A. I I think I typed it with a with a U. Let me let me amend that. So he is very uh, active in all. I think in from the very beginning of the movement, you might have seen him online um, on the live streams. He always comes out to talk. Uh, he has uh, condemned the police actions. Um, he's a very active. Um, he's a very active activist and uh, politician. And I really hope he will get a swift and full recovery from his injuries. Yes, as Nimeshion uh, Shiko Siko, uh, is, this is the second time that Jimmy Sham uh, was attacked in, uh, in the recent months. I think in two months, the first time he was attacked, uh, one of his friends stepped up and uh, covered him, uh, and his friend took a beating for him. And this time, uh, Jimmy got very injured. He got hit with a hammer to the head. Um, guys, it's not the first time they attack uh, politicians. Guys, as you can see here, I showed you earlier, two young candidates running from Hong Kong District Council were assaulted while campaigning on the streets. Now, these are all democratic candidates, all right? Um, wait, there's a video. So basically the men said, I punch you, so what? And this girl was also assaulted. It's clear that um, pro-democracy candidates, pro-democracy activists, pro-democracy politicians are being targeted. And since the pro-Beijing candidates cannot get the majority of support by the people, they are resorting to this kind of not surprisingly um, violent methods. What a shame. So guys, I think that right now it seems that we got the news from Jimmy. He's stable. He has to stay in the hospital for some time. Let's hope that he will have a full and quick recovery. And uh, if I know anything else, as usual, I will start another live stream and I will let you know what is happening. I will try my best to keep you guys up to date. And... Um, Yeah. Guys, I think we all know this is not a random attack. Is we are all certain that it's not only intentional but it's funded. 
by those who hate freedom and democracy. I am personally very sad and angry right now. So now there we just saw um, a group of people, um, those people are actually uh, close to Jimmy and they were um, arranging how they're going to like uh, stay here, stay around, ask for help, etc. Guys, I think this is the news uh, from two months ago, 29th of August. Hong Kong protest organizer says masked man wielding knife and baseball bat attacked him and companion. Oh God. So Hong Kong activist Jimmy Sham says that he and a companion were attacked by two masked men wielding a baseball bat and a knife in Jordan. Sam, Jimmy Sham the convener of the Civil Human Rights Front said that they were attacked at a restaurant on Takheng Street. In a WhatsApp message, Sam said his companion was a man with friendly connections to his pro-democracy coalition. He tried to protect Sam during the attack. Sam, de uh, Sam declined to reveal his identity. That's, this was the first time he was attacked and now he has been attacked one more time from the Hong Kong Free Press 
29 of August. Now it's 16 of October. And he has been attacked one more time. It's unfortunate to say, but now people who are pro-democracy should not be alone on the streets. I hope that... Of course, I hope that they, no one gets attacked. But I think it's important that everyone who supports democracy in Hong Kong has to stay always in a group and uh, never stay alone in uh, on the street or somewhere that they could be uh, prone to be attacked. It's very, very sad to say that. Hong Kong used to be one of the safest cities. And now it's especially dangerous for people who is pro-democracy and pro human rights Guys, guys, uh, I, as Gobi said, I just got a video here on on Instagram. I'm not on Instagram, on our Discord server. Viewer discretion is advised. Here's Jimmy right after being attacked. They're asking if does anyone knows him? Yeah, yeah, we know him, we know him. Guys, here are some more photos of him being taken to the hospital. We saw riot police inside the, the hospital as well. Guys, thank you so much for being post for posting this um, and um, helping with the with the Discord server. And uh, this Discord is made by all the things you guys post. So thank you. And uh, I hope Jimmy will get a recovery, as I said, a, a quick and full recovery. Now, guys, um, I think there is nothing else to watch right now. Um, so please... Please uh, like this live stream so that more people will get notified. And uh, I'm going to stay for like two more minutes to read any of your comments, any question. Please let me know.
uh, there is actually, guys, uh, on the 20th of October, there is going to be another uh, parade. I think it's a demonstration. Another, yeah, I think it's a parade, a demonstration. And uh, he's the convener. Um, basically, I think we could call him the person in charge, Jimmy. And uh, maybe the attack is to deter the demonstration. But I can assure you guys that the demonstration will be much stronger. And we're definitely going to let the world know what happened to Jimmy and the dirty tactics used by the government. So guys, um, thank you. I'm gonna. So Nimeshin Shikosiko, no report about nation race of attackers yet. JT DLLMCH, go to help Bakao Lokse. I guess you're talking to 50 Cent. <laughs> yeah, guys, 50 Cent, you know, they cannot say 8964. Robo Fury Man. Philip Neal, FCP, Lamar, Soke Andras, thank you for being here, guys. Lamar just said that Hong Kong protest movement had just been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. I think, I think they totally deserve it. They totally do deserve it. Essie, Eric, uh, and Markel. Heidi Baxarsa, Raggy, um, and everyone, Mark Rogers, thank you for being here, thank you to all the moderators, thank you Gobi, and um, yeah guys, take care, Blue Stacks, Chicken Raptors, Andrew Lim, Aloha Super Samui, Tom Chan, <laughs> app <fell. laughs> Thank you guys. Take care. I hope to get good news about Jimmy. And um, well, there's an update. No fracture found after X-ray. GCS 15 fully awake. <laughs> guys. Hope Jimmy is going to be all right, guys. I will let you know as soon as I get any updates. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon. If anything else happens tonight, I will keep you updated. And uh, thank you so much for joining the live stream. I will talk with you soon, guys. Goodbye. Take care. Stay awesome. Adios.